So it's Monday, April 19th. 40 degrees today and overcast. You will not believe tomorrow night's forecast is 29 degrees with a high of 31. So I will have to cover the flowers in the front yard or they will die. Those being the poppies. I think the uh, the other ones will survive, but the poppies won't. So I can just wrap something around the um, light pole because that's what they're planted around and go from there. Hear the sirens in the background. That was almost me yesterday. I was having serious issues. Went to the doctor because I had been exposed to COVID. They did a rapid test, it came back negative, but he said, you have all the symptoms of COVID. So we're gonna do the other tests that takes 48 hours to get the results. He said I did, or he didn't tell me, but in the notes, it said that I do have an upper respiratory infection. No meds, just fight it off on your own. My neighbor was like, what, they didn't give you meds? That's crazy. And I said, well, if your body gets too dependent on meds, then the meds won't work. So if you let the body fight it off, that's better. Just like COVID. So, I was up till almost 12, thought I was going to have a heart attack, had to medicate, then after about a half hour, my body relaxed enough to where I could go to sleep, and I didn't get up till 9 this morning, so, got a good night's sleep, still need more, um, fluids and electrolytes. I did find out after speaking with the, I won't call her a dietitian, but the lady that runs the webpage for Fat for Life on Facebook, she said that um, the reason I was dehydrated was because when you go on keto, keto doesn't hold in the water and the salt. Because the carbs are what the carbs are what holds that in, and since you've cut back on the carbs, your body flushes that out really quick. So you have to be sure to salt your food and drink lots of fluids. Now the doctor recommended Gatorade, and my wife and the lady that runs the web page suggested uh, Pedialyte would be better for my stomach than uh, Gatorade. So something had a fight here. There's feathers all over the place. Don't know if one of the dogs got them or what, but there's feathers there there, over here, we won't show you Angel taking a dump, maybe we will, we'll just show the front part of her, okay, now she's a killer, actually it looks like that's her second go around, okay already, gee, So anyway, I'm sort of uh, self-quarantining. This is my first time out today. Haven't done anything. You see Angel's wearing a collar. It's not a um, 
shock collar, it's a beep and uh, vibrate. And I did post that uh, the item can't be waterproof because it only has um, protective silicone covers over the plug. They said there's no on-off controls for the remote and there's no uh, way to adjust the volume for the beep. And they actually gave me a full refund. They um, told me about their newer one that the remote actually has an on-off and you can adjust the beep. Unfortunately, the, the charging plugs are still the same, so um, I purchased that one. It'll be here on Thursday. It was the same price as the old one. I'm like, they should just take the old one off the market. Plus, the new one doesn't have the metal prongs on the back, even though you cover, cover them with a silicone cap. Their new one is um, basically just uh, hard plastic that sticks out and curved a little bit to shape to the neck. So it won't dig into their their neck um, and you can, like I said you can adjust the beeps on that for higher or lower I'll be interesting to see if the volume goes any higher and then uh, I'll review that and still ding them on the charging if they would have made the charging uh, um, magnets like uh, the shock collar then it would be totally waterproof and you wouldn't have to put the little silicone covers over it. The charging base just has magnets in it as well so you just touch the magnets together and plug it in. Now the new one also doesn't plug into a, a USB, it comes with its own plug which there again is a drawback um, but I do have the plug for this one and it'll plug into the other one no problem it's just a convenience thing I don't mind it having a plug but so in Angel's enjoying her romp she's been bored however we can't go on the trails because of ticks so we just stay in the grassy area. But there's not many people in the park. As you can see, there's one there, there's a truck there, there's two over here. And one's myself, one's another dog walker, the other two are probably fishing. So. going to be a cold one but I'll send a shout out to my wife Jean to Kathy and to Kay and I hope Gary and Kathy had a nice time up in Idlewild I will get you pictures of those walking sticks I haven't forgot but it's uh, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon I just got dressed so I will close this out from Bakersfield in Port Huron Township and Fort Gratiot, Michigan. We will talk to you later.